the house of the Lord this afternoon on this good Friday. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father God, we come to you this afternoon. Jesus, you are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords, Lord God. And as we're here this Good Friday afternoon, Lord God, I ask you to just surround this place with your blessing. Pour into us this afternoon, Lord Jesus. Prepare our minds and our souls for the word that will come forth. Jesus, those who are on their ways, those who are watching, those who are in the building, Lord God, we ask you to just do a special touch, a special blessing upon their life. Father God, whatever answers, whatever questions, whatever confusion, we ask you, Lord God, to just provide them comfort and provide them understanding. Jesus, you are Lord. Hallelujah. We give you the praise this afternoon. Father God, we love you. We worship you. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we just give up another praise? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This time we're going to move right into our opening hymn. It is taken out of our Pentecostal hymnal, number eight, and we're going to the old rugged cross. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord.
praise God, praise God. Can I get praise and worship just to come up? Praise God.
sorry. Uh, we would like everyone to visit our social media pages. We make sure to keep them updated if we have anything going on. It will be posted on our social media platforms. Um, at this time, we have Twitter, we have Instagram, and we have our Facebook and YouTube. Praise the Lord. Our Twitter, for those who would like to uh, join, is Grace Deliverance Men. Our Instagram is Grace Deliverance. And our Facebook and YouTube, praise the Lord, is Grace Deliverance Apostolic Ministries. So again, please go on and like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And also make sure to share um, whatever is going on in the weeks. Make sure to share our services. You know, we have our prayer services and our Bible studies that we post. So feel free to share uh, with those that you know. Amen. Online prayer. Can we give it up for online prayer? Online prayer has been such a blessing. If you know where we're coming from, we started with two days a week and, you know, the demand and God just spoke and we've been doing week from Monday to Friday. This week we did Monday to Thursday just because we were in the building today. But we just give God thanks for what he has been doing. There has been lots of requests coming in, testimonies and results coming back of healing and, you know, God just answering people's prayer or um, the saints prayers so we just want to give God thanks for that this week we will uh, Monday to Friday we will be online uh, we won't be going for the whole week so join us on our, our Facebook or YouTube and again that's Grace Deliverance Apostolic Ministries praise the Lord Okay. Uh, Bible study amen Give it up for Bible study. Praise the Lord. On this coming Wednesday, April 7th, 2021, we will be having our Bible study. We will be continuing the study of Abram uh, with the pastor, with our pastor. And uh, so we're just asking those to come out and join. It will be via Zoom uh, at 7 o'clock p.m. So the Zoom link and the information will be posted on our social media platforms. Amen. Easter Sunday service. We are welcoming again everybody to come out, join us. Those who cannot come out, you can join us on our video. But we were encouraging you to come out and join us in church on Sunday for our Easter Sunday celebration. Service will continue to start at 1.30 and it will be just a joyous time in the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. This concludes our announcements for the afternoon. Uh, for those who would like to sow a seed to the ministry, we accept all forms of payment. Cash, check, PayPal, and e-transfer. Our e-transfer is gracedeliverancemin at gmail.com. Amen. This now concludes our announcements for this week. I hope everyone has a blessed week. And remember, we are saving lives by grace for the kingdom. Praise the Lord. At this time, I'm going to call back Sister DeAndra Jarrett to lead us into our offering segment. In Jesus' name.
Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before your presence this morning. And Lord, as we come, Lord God, to bless that which your people are given to your word. Father, I pray, Lord God, that you will open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing on your people. Father, we pray, mighty God, that you will bless every hand that stretch forth. Father, we pray, God, that you will multiply it, Lord Jesus. Give them back a hundredfold. And Father, we pray, mighty God, that whatever is given will go to the furtherance of your work. We bless you. We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. At this time, I'm going to call Pastor Brown Smith to come at this time to deliver God's word in Jesus' name. Can we all stand and just clap and give God some praise as she comes to us? Can we stay and just...
for strength, mighty Tina, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. All roads lead to the cross. And all roads lead from the cross. My brothers and sisters, saints and friends, we have been on a journey this week. As we go back and we remember ultimately the reason why we are here today. We are here to remember the sacrifice that Jesus did for you and I. And in my presentation this afternoon, I want us to understand and stay focused as to what really happened at the cross and the significance of the cross. Last uh, Sunday was Palm Sunday and we spoke about how Jesus was entering into Jerusalem and for the first time the prophecy of Zechariah, Zechariah that's in the 14th chapter, 14th verse, amen, that stated the Messiah would come to Jerusalem from the Mount of Olive, amen, was fulfilled. Matthew 21, 1 verse 11 refers to a passage from the book and states, all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet, saying ye, the daughters of Zion, behold the king cometh unto thee. And here is where we had spoke last Sunday that this was the first time that the people received that Jesus was the Messiah as they were shouting, as they were going, following Jesus into Jerusalem. And they were, amen, declaring, saying, Hosanna, blessed be the king of Israel. And as the story continues from this moment, Jesus now is on his last week on earth which is documented throughout the gospel. Amen. We spoke about uh, Palm Sunday, rejoicing and giving God the praise. Amen. Knowing that the Messiah was riding in a holy city on a donkey. Amen. Hallelujah. But after all that happened, amen, Jesus went in the temple. There's certain things that happened as he was on this week of journey. He went into the temple drove out all those who were selling and buying amen and we know even before that he he had cursed the fig tree amen and the fig tree represented Israel amen because they bear no fruit and we can continue to go on all the places that Jesus went amen throughout this holy week we can uh, uh, say what he did every day, amen. We know, amen, that uh, uh, he went and he uh, went into the temple, turned it over, amen, because the people were in there doing things that were not right. And he asked them, amen, what is this? Hallelujah. Does not the scripture say that my house will not be called a house of prayer for all the people? And, uh, but they had turned it into a den of thieves. Hallelujah. Amen. And this was the final straw for some of the high priests that were in the area. And so they decided to, sought, to, to seek him out and to kill him. Amen. We know that after Jesus' uh, teaching is complete, amen, he talks about the future destruction of Jerusalem. And he speaks to his people about Amen. The coming of the, of the end. Hallelujah. Amen. And the end of his last public teachings. Amen. Jesus directs them. Amen. Uh, directs his ministry towards the lost sheep. This is what he does. He was been, remember, he came to the lost sheep. But nevertheless, the word of the Lord says that latter in the days, the high uh, priests and scribes were meet, amen, to plot to kill Jesus. Amen. And we follow the story. We know we know it well. Hallelujah. 
Amen. And how uh, they went, they got Jesus, they, uh, they, they uh, brought him to Pilate. Amen. All those things that happened even before, remember that uh, he was anointed, amen, by the alabaster box. Amen. So many stories that are in the week, this holy week. But we find ourselves, amen, at the place that Jesus goes before Pilate, amen, and he, he, he brings, they bring Jesus to him and they were questioning him, who is he, we know uh, what happened, and Pilate could not find anything, amen, with that was wrong that he did, amen, because he was called the king of the Jews. And nobody else should have been king except for uh, Caesar at the time. Glory to God. But nevertheless, Jesus continued his, uh, his, his path. He continued what he ought to do during the time because he was on a mission. He was on a purpose for the kingdom. Glory to God. Amen. We find ourselves, amen, eventually where, amen, the Apollos tells them, I, I cannot uh, uh, arrest or accuse this individual. And the crowd was, was crying out, crucify him. My God, last week I spoke about which crowd are you a part of? Amen. Last week they were saying, hallelujah, hail him, hosanna in the highest. Amen. Blessed be the king of Israel. But today on a good Friday, Amen. They're saying, crucify him. My God, can you just imagine, amen, what was happening in this place? My God. And so eventually, amen, they said they took Jesus, got him dressed, and the, the people said that, you know, they have to crucify him. And he began his journey to Calvary. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I want to spend a little bit of time here through the journey of Calvary. All roads lead to the cross. And all roads lead from the cross. I come this afternoon to tell you that what Jesus did was necessary. Hallelujah. Amen. It was important. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. What we need Everything that you need, whatever it is, it is at the cross. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The song says that at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away. And it was there by faith and I received my sight and now I am happy all the day. I come to tell you that the death of Jesus on the cross was the greatest thing that ever happened to mankind. Hallelujah. I can imagine all those that walked with Jesus and experienced his miracles, experienced his wonders, his signs, but nothing is greater than what Jesus did on the cross. Glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah. It is the most important event that the world will ever see. In a day in which, hallelujah, we are being stripped. Hallelujah. Amen. When we look at the world and what was going on, I'm telling you, get to the cross. I am telling you that all roads lead to the cross. And so whatever that was happening in Jesus' ministry and the disciples that were working with him, really it was about getting to the cross. Hallelujah. Amen. And we've got to figure out, amen, the importance of what happened at the cross. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Some people say, amen, the word of the Lord says in John 3, 16, that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him shall not perish but shall have everlasting life. Hallelujah. You can't get to Jesus unless you get to the cross. 
And in the garden, God told Adam that he could only eat freely from the fruit of every tree. Hallelujah. But of the tree of knowledge of good and evil shall you not eat. For in the day that you eat it, you shall surely die. The story that we know, Adam ate of the tree and he died. And he began to not only die physically, but more importantly, he died spiritually. His sin caused a separation between himself and God. Hallelujah. And he needed to make an atonement for this sin. Ah, but it was powerless to do so. And this is where God's grace scheme of redemption began. Amen. Because death was the penalty of, for sin. And that was the price that had to be paid. Amen. We look, amen, at Moses, the laws of him. Amen. That called the sacrifices of the bulls and the goats. Amen. But there, it wasn't enough. They continue how to go back, go back, go back. Hallelujah. Amen. But there came a day. Hallelujah. Amen. When Jesus walked to Calvary. Hallelujah. And when he got on the cross. Hallelujah. Amen. He paid a debt. Hallelujah. That I could not pay for myself. Glory to God. Amen. We owe the debt. We all here owe a debt to him. But when Jesus went to the cross, hallelujah, amen, he gave us, amen, atonement for our sins. Hallelujah. The second thing, the second thing I want to tell you, amen, that happened at the cross. Amen. Prophecies were fulfilled. The word of the Lord said our Lord's death on the cross, it was not an accident. It was planned in the mind of God before time began. Hallelujah. Because it was foretold to the world through the prophets. Amen. Suffering servants. Amen. Isaiah 53 said they pierced his hands and his feet. Glory to God. Psalm spoke. Amen. No broken bones. Hallelujah. Psalms 34 spoke about giving gall and vinegar. And in Psalm 69, it speaks about him being beaten, spat upon. And in Isaiah 50, glory to God. And all these points, amen, were fulfilled when we got to the cross. When Jesus gave up his life at the cross, amen, the prophecies were fulfilled. Hallelujah. We're going to the cross. What else happened when you get to the cross? The old laws was put away. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of the God says, and you being dead in your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh. He has made us alive together with him, having forgiveness. Amen. We all have trespasses and sins. Amen. But because of what God did at Calvary, the old law was put away. Glory to God. Amen. That was the old law. Remember the other uh, souls had to be circumcised. But in the new law, when Jesus came, hallelujah. Amen. The Bible said that when he died, the veil of the temple was ripped in two, signifying the end of the law it represented. Glory to God. The next sin that leads to the cross, why we have to get there, what do we find at the cross? Enmity was abolished, glory to God. The word of the Lord said that for he himself is our peace. He who has made both of us, amen, and has broken down the middle wall of separation, having abolished in his flesh the enmity that is the law commandments contained in ordinances. Amen. So as to create himself one new man from, hallelujah, one new man from, from those two, making peace. Hallelujah. That he might be reconciled back to God. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. The next thing, amen, that is found at the cross is the love of God. Hallelujah. The love
John. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus said, greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friend. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But Jesus did it. Where did he did it? He did it at the cross. Hallelujah. Amen. And one last thing I want to talk about. Amen. That at the cross, hallelujah, it was a perfect example of suffering. Amen. Times of suffering are going to come upon you and I. Glory to God. We are going to be faced with trial, with tribulation. Glory to God. But Jesus dead at the cross left us both encouraged. Amen. And with an example, hallelujah, for to you this, hallelujah, you were called because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. And who committed no sin, nor was deceit found in his mouth, hallelujah, he was reviled, hallelujah, my God, he suffered, he was rejected, hallelujah, amen, but nevertheless, he our sins, hallelujah, and his body on that old rugged cross, that we might have a life of eternity, eternity, glory to God, we must live righteous, hallelujah, amen, and we know that when he took the cross, every stripe, every situation before us was healed and delivered, glory to God, so Jesus' death on the cross not only paid the penalty for our sin, but it shows us today that we can endure any suffering, we can endure any pain, anything that we are facing, I come to tell you, it all roads leads to the cross, hallelujah. And because I know all road leads to the cross, and if we followed what Jesus did at the cross, hallelujah, we are reminded here today, hallelujah, that you can make it, amen, hallelujah. And the cross represents, hallelujah, everything that the enemy had, oh God, before us. But when Jesus went on the cross, hallelujah, when he walked down the road of Calvary, he took our burdens with him, hallelujah. He took the law with him. He took every shame with him. He took every condemnation with him. He took every wickedness with him. He took all the vile against us with him. And so now that we are at the cross, now that we are in the cross, the song says, Be my glory ever. Hallelujah. Until Thank you. 
praise? Can we just thank him for what he has given to us? Can we thank him for the word that he has given to us? Praise God, praise God, praise God. I've been truly blessed. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be amongst my brethren. And we're happy that you were all able to come and join us today. We're happy that you guys on our live stream, hopefully that you got a blessing and received the message that our pastor has preached to us today. Just a few reminders. We will be having our Easter Sunday service this Sunday from 1.30 p.m. Please do come out and join us. We are allowed to be at 15% of the building. So please come and join us on our Easter Sunday service. It will be a blessing. I'm anticipating a celebration of our God, a celebration of Christ Jesus and what he has done for us. Praise God. We just also want to remind you that we will be doing our online prayer every day this week, Monday to Friday at 9 a.m. It will be done through Facebook and our YouTube platform. So please come on in and join us. Send your prayer requests and worship in the Lord with us. Praise God. Also, another reminder that this week, Wednesday, is Bible study. It will be done via Zoom. It is on Wednesday at 7 p.m. sharp. The Zoom links will be posted on all our social media platforms. Praise God. At this time, we're going to stand and do the benediction and close out the service. Our benediction is taken from Ephesians chapter 2, and it is verses 8 through 10. Praise God. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 through 10. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, unto good works, for which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Praise God. Be blessed.